One of them was very like clear and like had on, had gotten my email a week ago and was like, oh, so this is the project and just like sort of like checked up on how it was going. There were some cars that would just slow down as they drove by and then like just like slowed until they were just like crawl like inching along the street and like rolled down their window and was like, oh, like they like they had this like moment of realization. They were like, we've all been trying to figure out what's going on. Have fun with the play and like, like we all have been trying to feel like the eyes are on me, you know, like. I think that we should schedule like a time for you to like listen to and put together sounds as soon as possible because I need to draw a light like a solid light and floor, but there's going to be a little bit of assembly that needs to happen in the space. Okay. Another question about the graffiti design of the flag, like what sort of art sure freedom should they have? A lined rock here, like it is important to the plot that it looks stenciled, right? Uh, and then there's company members we could ask for. And sound. Michaela, do you want to help uh, Grayson out with sound? Cool. <laughs> you take Gray. I know he's on a sign, and he has some experience with lights. Um, Elida will probably be in the booth for most of that, because okay. I'll be like asking so you to turn lights on and stuff. Yeah. Well, that would be nice, because I also, it's not a fun job, but I need people to hold ladders. And then there's another step unit here and here, right? On either side, so you can walk up, like, and then go down, and right here. This is part of Moore's office space. So the plan is that this office space rotates, right? Throughout the show, this whole square, this 12 foot by 12 foot square, changes so the audience's perspective on the office space shifts, right? So the audience gets to look at both of their beautiful faces. Uh -huh. um, the door shifts along with that. So the entrance space to the office changes, and it does shift all the way around here. And the student door just sort of exists beyond that somewhere. The audience doesn't need to see the physical door, right? What's going to happen is like someone goes to the door, Yearn for the light in the midst of the darkest, blackest night. White Rose, 1942. Every word from Hitler's mouth is a lie. White Rose, 1942. The day of reckoning has come. The reckoning of German youth with the most abominable tyranny our people have ever endured. In the name of German youth, we demand restitution by Adolf Hitler's state of our personal freedom. The most precious treasure that we have. Of which he has robbed us. In the most brutal way. The White Rose. It is a moral duty to put an end to this system. We will not be silent. We are your bad conscience. The White Rose will not leave you in peace. Excellent. And 1940s music happens.